Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. I'm currently on a train so I can't take my mask off but we are going to Edinburgh today. I'm so excited. We have just been for breakfast and we're all sorted on the train now. We've just got sat down but yeah, can't wait. So we've just arrived at our hotel and I'll give you a little bit of a tour later on because it's messy now. We've just kind of taken everything out of the suitcases and quickly got changed and um, we're gonna go and get some food now because I'm so hungry. Um, but I thought I'd just quickly show you my outfit before we go. So I am wearing this vest which is from Arquette and I spilled tea on it so um, that's a good start, but never mind. You can't see if I just cover it. <laughs> um, I've also just got on this blazer, which is really old from Mango. I've got this uh, bag here, which is from Naked Fashion. Jeans are from Zara. And then I've got some New Balance trainers on, which are new. And I thought they would be good for walking in because they're a little bit more comfy than my Air Force ones. So yeah, I'm gonna go and get some food and have a little wander around. <laughs> Hello everyone, happy Monday. I didn't end up filming too much yesterday because we were so tired when we got here. We ended up just going out and getting some food and then we went to the Edinburgh Dungeons which you actually can't film in there anyway but we had such a good time and um, it wasn't at all what I was expecting but it was really really good. I enjoyed it. Uh, so yeah, today's plan is we are going to go and get some breakfast at a place called Ludon's, I think. I'll double check that, but I think it's Ludon's. And that is situated at the bottom of the Royal Mile. So once we've had breakfast, we're gonna go and do the Royal Mile, and then we're gonna go and look at the castle. We'll probably get some lunch then, and then this afternoon we are doing the Merry King's Close tour, which I think will be really exciting as well. I'm not too sure what to expect. For that either but yeah I think it'll be good because I kind of like some spooky stuff so I think that'll be really interesting and yeah and then we'll go and get some dinner somewhere tonight I think we're going to do something a little bit fancier like dress up and um, because we've been sort of quite casual so far so yeah really excited I'm gonna go and get some breakfast now <laughs> breakfast and we are now going to find the start of the Royal Mile. Breakfast was really nice as well. I had a standard poached eggs and avocado toast but I also had like a radish and dill side top which was very tasty. It was really really nice and um, yeah just no wonder now. The building is so beautiful. It's a really nice mix of kind of old gothic kind of Tudor style, not Tudor style buildings actually but just very historical pretty buildings and then you look to like the other side of the road and it's really modern like there is a parliament building sort of behind me that you can't really see but just looks really modern and cool with the architecture but yeah it's amazing <laughs>
of the evening is just this like little floaty top and I've just tucked it into this denim skirt and I've got some loafers on and then jewellery. I've just got some... Uh, <laughs> I'm filming on my phone because I need to format the memory card on my camera which is really annoying but luckily we did bring a laptop so I can take all the footage off the memory card which isn't that much it's only from yesterday but I can take that footage off and save it and then reformat the memory card it's really annoying I don't know if this is just a thing with the Canon um, G7X but yeah annoying so I'm filming on my phone now anyway some little earrings and just a little necklace so this is my outfit of the evening <laughs> But we're just walking past the castle and it looks oh you can't see anything <laughs> it looks really pretty um yeah we're just deciding what to do now because it's really really cold it's kind of early but at the same time we we've been getting up for um fairly early anyway and we're not massive drinkers so we're not too bothered about staying out late uh but yeah we might just go for a little wander because it looks really pretty at night time so it's nice to get some different different views see some cute things So we are back from our little evening outing and again I've just not filmed that much today because in the afternoon we did the Mary King's Close tour which was amazing but it's just something else that you can't film so yeah not much footage from today but tomorrow we are doing Victoria Street and a lot of the Harry Potter themed stuff so I'm very very excited so hopefully should have some more footage tomorrow. We're also doing the um, whiskey tour as well which you might be able to film in I don't really know but I'll obviously film what I can but yeah very very excited. We're also going to the Elephant House Cafe as well which is where JK Rowling wrote the first few Harry Potter books so I'm really excited to have a look there as well. I think it'll probably be quite busy just because it'll attract a lot of tourists but yeah we'll see. Um, might just go in there for a coffee but yeah very very excited so yeah that's the end of Monday. Good morning everyone so it's Tuesday today and we are just about to head out for breakfast now. I'm going to attempt to go to the Elephant House Cafe um, which as I said in yesterday's vlog it's the one where JK Rowling wrote a lot of the first Harry Potter books so yeah I really want to go there uh yeah and then afterwards we are just gonna go for a wander and see Victoria Street and then this afternoon we are going to like a little rooftop bar which overlooks the castle and I think it's called Cold House I think I'll show you when we go there anyway and then we've got some whiskey tasting tours as well which should be really fun as well I thought I'll just show you a quick outfit of the day as well before we set off and then it is breakfast time. So today I am just wearing this dress which is from Zara, the famous spotty dress and then this trench coat which is just from Monkey and the New Balance trainers which are staying pretty white so far but see what they look like towards the end of the holiday. breakfast we went to the elephant house and it was so cute in there I loved it and um, it was actually really easy to get in it wasn't busy at all and I don't know whether that's just because it's um, obviously in the middle of a pandemic but um, you didn't have to queue or anything so yeah it's pretty quiet it's very sun in my eyes um, but yeah really really nice in there it's just like sort of a shrine to JK Rowling but in a really really nice way and the toilets are just covered in writing and quotes from the books and messages from fans and stuff. it's really really nice uh, yeah the food was really good too I think really well. um, but yeah we are now going to Victoria Street and then I think we're gonna go and see the graveyard so 
together. That's what this holiday is. Um, okay, right. Let's go. We've also booked to go to um, like a rooftop bar that's just down the road from here um, at like half plus one and yeah, picked a really good day for it because it's just so lovely outside so really happy with that but after we've done here we're going to go for a wander and go to the graveyard. <laughs> well it's busy isn't it? It is. So today is our last full day in Edinburgh. It's Wednesday today. So I can't remember where I left you yesterday. We did the whiskey tour, which was a lot of fun. Um, I think I've, I've vlogged a lot of that, or at least I've vlogged some of it. And I remember vlogging uh, me trying the whiskey as well and uh, I did not like it at all. Not quite to my taste, but I'm really glad that we did it as well because it was, it was a lot of fun. And yeah, I can appreciate the taste if that makes sense, I can appreciate like the influence of different like fruits and um, like stuff that they use. Oh yeah, I can I can appreciate what they use, but uh, not for me. Wasn't keen. So yeah, um, I won't be having any more whiskey um, ever. Uh, but yeah, and then we went to dinner. We went to a place called Harry's, which is just up the road from our hotel it's really really near and that was lovely again so yeah this morning we are going to climb Arthur's seat so I'm very excited I've got my sportswear on so I can go and do that uh, but yeah it should be really interesting we've not done anything like that on a holiday before first we're gonna go and get some breakfast though and then we'll go and start the climb and then this afternoon we are going to go and get some lunch and probably just go to a couple of coffee shops and then we have um, somewhere to eat booked later on and yeah should be nice we might even use the pool in the hotel as well uh, but yeah should be just a nice like relaxing afternoon after a lot of uh, hiking this morning here we go suddenly regret everything Brave 
Florida. Hot and small hell. Here she comes. The balance, the poise. <laughs> Eight years of ballet training for nothing. Yeah, down the drain. <laughs> we are back from our little adventure to Arthur's seat and it was so much fun it was a bit of a shorter walk than what we thought it was going to be we looked at a couple of routes and the route that we thought would be easiest for us was supposed to be about two hours and it didn't really take us that long at all it took us maybe two hours to go from where we had breakfast um, all the way to the top and then back to the hotel so it was definitely a lot less than that um, but yeah it was a lot of fun it's very very windy at the top uh, but yeah we definitely recommend doing that if you go to Edinburgh if you, you feel very um, accomplished after you've done it so yeah we've just come back to the hotel got changed and showered uh, into some very comfy clothes and we're gonna go and have some lunch now and probably just eat cake and drink coffee for the rest of the day before we go for food later on it's gonna be a very nice afternoon <laughs> Edinburgh and we're just about to go out to eat now we're going to a place called the Piper's Rest and um, yeah that's about it really very excited very hungry uh, also need to pack everything because the hotel room is a mess so I don't think we'll be back too late but we may go somewhere else for a drink perhaps but we'll see quick outfit update as well I'm just wearing this pinstripe shirt that I wear pretty much all the time at home but it's just such a good shirt to have that it literally goes with anything so yeah wearing this and just some straight leg black jeans loafers and just have a gold necklace on and some little earrings from my girl and straightened my hair feeling very sleek ready for food <laughs> Edinburgh. Uh, I've actually been back for the best part of a week but I realised I didn't end the vlog so uh, sorry about that. Uh, yeah I've just come to edit and thought I would just sign off and say thank you so much for watching and I really hope you enjoyed it. It was so nice to go somewhere and not have that much of a plan because we normally plan out our holidays down to a T but this time was a little different because I feel like you know the last few months has been very stressful for everyone it's been a difficult year so we really wanted to just go away and relax and kind of not plan it out too much but yeah we had a lovely time it's such a beautiful city would absolutely recommend going there and um, if you can it's it's lovely uh, but yeah hope you guys enjoyed watching and I will see you in my next video bye